Thousands of Australian Toyota owners. The Toyota Recall. Toyota. The all-new Toyota Stout is about to steal the spotlight from the Ford Maverick. Ford took a bet that people in the United States were ready for a tiny pickup truck with front-wheel drive and a unibody design, which led to record-breaking sales. Even though it was a vehicle with many issues, Ford still completely disrupted the most competitive sector. However, it has been criticised for many reasons, and the only reason that Ford could afford some of the flaws was because there were no competitors. To our great relief, this will soon change as Toyota and other automakers enter the market category. With new design solutions, features and upgrades in terms of quality, things can only get better. So stay with us as we will demonstrate how the Toyota Stout may address the six most pressing problems facing the compact truck market. Number 1. Reliability Ford released a completely new version of the Maverick back in 2022. We had all anticipated seeing a few problems, which is common with brand new models. However, there was a great deal more issues than everyone had anticipated there would be. There have been multiple recalls and many complaints regarding various components on the truck. The failure of the brakes has been one of the most frequently reported issues that we have seen, although a variety of other technological concerns have also been reported. To make matters worse, these aren't even the most troublesome aspects of the vehicle. The list of complaints also includes a couple of major concerns regarding the vehicle's safety, beginning with side airbags that did not work properly and seatbelts that were not attached properly. Also, the brand new Mavericks engine developed some unforeseen problems, such as a cylinder misfire. We are convinced that the new Toyota Stout will outperform the Ford Maverick in many areas. When it comes to reliability ratings, Toyota has dominated the automobile market for decades. In addition, there shouldn't be any major problems with the new pickup because, even though it is a brand new model, it will be built on tested technology. Furthermore, it will likely share many components with the current generation of the Toyota RAV4, which has been on the market for years and has established itself as one of the most dependable SUVs. Toyota has spent decades honing its hybrid powertrain technology, and the automaker has never been known for having problems with mechanical breakdowns or with the electronics inside its vehicles. Number 2. Production Capacities Ford management had high hopes for the new Maverick, but the reality remains that the company's production facilities are not even close to fulfilling the demand that it is currently facing. The new pickup caused such a commotion in the market that the corporation had no choice but to close the order books just a few weeks after they had been made available to customers. According to certain sources, the company is said to have received more than 100,000 orders for the 2023 model. Even if you were quick enough to place an order, there is a good probability that you are still waiting for the car. There is a lot of content on the internet detailing people's experiences of persistent delivery delays. As a result, finding a Maverick at a dealer is nearly impossible. If you find one, you should be prepared to pay significantly more than the MSRP, even if you buy a second-hand car. Things should go considerably more smoothly with the 2024 model since the corporation has already hired thousands of additional workers to construct it. This will result in an increase of 80,000 units to the annual production capacity. Will this be enough to match the huge demand for the Maverick? We're not sure, but Toyota shouldn't have any major problems with production due to its robust production capabilities. The RAV4, which is the model that the new model should be based on, is manufactured in various plants located all over the world, including assemblies in the United States of America, Canada and China. In the past few years, this company has done an admirable job of addressing difficulties in its supply chain, and it also has a stellar reputation in the industry for its overall logistics operations. Number 3. All-Wheel Drive Hybrid the Maverick's basic hybrid powertrain has received recognition for several reasons, the most important of which are its reasonable price and outstanding fuel economy. Just a year ago, it was unthinkable that a pickup could achieve fuel economy ratings of 42 miles per gallon in the city and 33 miles per gallon on the highway. However, that is the fuel economy that was included with the brand new small truck and the maximum output is somewhere around 180 horsepower, which is more than enough to guarantee adequate performance. The fact that the Maverick Hybrid does not come in an all-wheel drive configuration is our only issue with it. 
The only drivetrain available is the front wheel drive, which is a deal breaker for many prospective purchasers. Some sources anticipate that an all wheel drive hybrid will be added to the lineup in the coming year, but relevant authorities have been silent on the subject. Things, on the other hand, are not particularly complicated with Toyota. If the Stout is going to incorporate a significant number of RAV4 pieces, then the powertrain will remain mostly unchanged. The same hybrid system that is based on a 2.5-litre inline four-cylinder engine that produces 219 horsepower can get on the Stout. Although it might not be as capable as more conventional all-wheel drive systems, installing such a configuration in the new pickup truck would undoubtedly boost the vehicle's overall capabilities. Number 4. Exterior Design In our perspective, if there is one aspect of the compact truck market that we could criticise right now, it would be the aesthetics of the vehicles in this group. Neither the Maverick nor the Santa Cruz has an appearance that is suitable for a pickup truck. On one hand, we have the Ford pickup, which is designed with traditional aesthetics but appears boring. The expectations for the Stout are that it will fall somewhere in the middle. If you look at the digital renderings, you can see that people anticipate seeing a combination of a traditional pickup truck design with a bold and robust appearance and a substantial amount of exclusive stylistic aspects. We anticipate that some of them will resemble older models of pickup trucks and SUVs, such as the legendary Land Cruiser FJ45. There is one more area where this pickup has the potential to make things right. The Santa Cruz comes only in a crude cap configuration. Despite its adaptability, farmers, small businesses and other potential customers who will look for an affordable small utility vehicle are not likely to be interested in this configuration. Number 5. Safety Features The Maverick may be purchased for a reasonable price while still providing a substantial amount of value. Safety is one of the areas of the pickup where there was clear cost savings during manufacturing. It should be made clear that we are not implying that the Maverick is not a safe car. Rather, we are stating that the Blue Oval Corporation should have offered more driver aid features. For instance, the base model of the Maverick only comes with a forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking and automatic high beams. The higher trim levels offer some upgrades, such as blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert and adaptive cruise control with lane centering. However, these features are still not particularly impressive. The stance that Toyota takes on this issue is quite straightforward. The Japanese manufacturer typically provides a full load of modern safety and driver assistance technologies on its base models. Because we don't anticipate that this will be any different, we won't even go over that so much. But as a reference point, the Toyota RAV4 comes equipped with technologies such as traffic sign recognition, pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control and lane departure and lane keep assist. The available features include cool extras such as surround view camera or digital rear view mirror. Number 6. Competition The more trucks on the market, the better. However, there have only been three compact pickup trucks on the market. So, the Ford Maverick continues to have extremely high demand. However, things may shift once the Toyota Stout and other contestants arrive, bringing tougher competition. The Blue Oval Company will now not have that afforded luxury, and it will have to deal with dependability concerns in a much better way. Even if it is already an excellent automobile, the Maverick must continue to improve to keep its lead position in the market. This does not only refer to the quality of the construction, it also refers to the addition of new elements and characteristics of the design. It is possible that the hybrid version may finally come with all-wheel drive, whereas the availability of additional engine alternatives, such as plug-in hybrid and fully electric models, is also a possibility. The introduction of the new Toyota Stout and other competitors in the market segment can only serve to raise the bar and make all of the models in the class better bargains. That's all from this video. What do you think about Toyota's new compact pickup truck? See you at the next one.